Hello and welcome to Crafting Unedited. My name's Sierra. You may know me, you may not. If you don't, you're about to. <laughs> I am here to show you today how to sublimate onto thin wood. Basswood in particular, because that's what I had on hand that was thin and not thick like a sign. <laughs> so I took um, my logo craftily, um, just the word part of it, and I cut it with my maker with basswood. The basswood came from Cricut, but you can get it at any like Michaels, Joanne, sometimes like Home Depot and Lowe's will carry it as well. It's just a very thin, um, delicate wood. I have to emphasize the delicate part because I did not realize that it was going to be so brittle. It's over there, so I gotta grab it. <clears throat> So this is the logo. It's delicate, very, very fragile. And um, I'm gonna show you the whole process start to finish, but don't worry, I'm gonna time lapse and speed up the paint and the polycrylic process. So what I did, um, I'll explain this later too, but I've painted it, I've coated it, and I have a sublimation transfer here that I'm going to use. It's just an extra piece of <laughs> something that I had laying around because I wanted to try this. I wanted to see how it works, how well it looks, um, or how good it looks and kind of give you guys that lesson experience so that you don't have to waste it if it doesn't work. <laughs> All right. So I'm going to hop on over to that, uh, time lapse of me painting and doing the polycrylic coating for the record. I did do two coats of polycrylic. Let's go on to that and then I'll hop back on. See you in a jiffy. Alrighty, and I'm back. And because I don't like to edit things and leave you out of the loop and make you think that I just mysteriously went and put all that together just now and changed my shirt and changed my hair and did all of that, no, I did not. I recorded that yesterday, <laughs> that, that section that you just watched yesterday, so that this would have time to dry so that I could do this video. Because we're in the real world and that doesn't work like that. So what I did, painted it white, put the polycrylic coating over it, did that twice. I used a paintbrush. They, I'm learning now that they say to use a foam brush instead. I think the paintbrush worked just fine for me, but hey, 
Whatever works for you, works for you. And there's supposed to be one more step. They say to sand, but then I feel like you're taking off some of the polyacrylic, so I skipped that step. Um, but here it is in all its glory. It's painted white um, and it's got the polyacrylic on it. My heat press is set to 385 for 60 seconds and I did lift the press plate so that it's not going to have as much pressure. Now I'm gonna take my wood sign or my little piece of wood, but you can see here how thin this is. Like that is super, super thin and it's very <laughs> bendy. I would bend it, but I'm, a, I'm afraid to break it because I already broke it here. You can kind of see on the R. I hope that part doesn't look all wonky. And here, I broke it here too on the dash. <laughs> But whatever, this is just a trial. Hoping it works though, because I do love this print. And because it has some overhang that I wasn't really paying attention to, I need another piece of butcher paper. Or do I? I can fold it. So we're gonna take this, set it down with the white and the polycrylic coating facing up. We're gonna put our transfer right on top of it. And yes, this is quite the wonky transfer because I'm a goof. I'm gonna put it on upside down and then flip it so that I make sure that I get the whole thing on there. <laughs> Normally I'd say tape it, but there's really no point in taping it because it's just covering the whole thing. Okay, leave that there. So, yeah, makeshift butcher paper here. I have more, I just don't know where I put it. If you're a crafter, you know the pain. All right, and then we're gonna swing, swing the press plate around. Just put the pressure of the press plate on it. Let it go, I, I mean, you can put more pressure. Ooh, steaming. A little steamy steam going on in the corner there. It's like, I don't know if you can see that, but it's smoking. I think that's because of the paint, maybe the polycrylic coating. I don't know, I haven't done this yet. First time for everything. I'm with you. We're in this together. <laughs> um, so while that's steaming away over there, it's kind of odd that it's only steaming in the one corner. Oh no, it's in both, okay, so happening all over it's all good so while that goes for the next 30 seconds i'm going to tell you that you should subscribe to my channel so that you can watch all of my fun videos you should also visit craftily.com because i have so many written tutorials on there if you can't follow me and how quickly and how adhd i get on these videos please go to craft elicom it's also in the description take a look at the post there's pretty much everything that i cover here in person in a written format Go to it, check it out. I promise you won't regret it. There's lots on there. And if you have any more ideas, drop me a comment. I need some ideas. I'm running out of things to post for you. Lessons to teach. What haven't I done? All right, so we're gonna let that hang out, cool off for a minute. Cause it's gonna be hot as wood. It's kind of cool looking on the paper though. <laughs> Where's my tweezers? I don't know where the tweezers went. But, whatever. I'm gonna roll with it. Oh, it's stuck. <laughs> it's stuck. But, look at it. <laughs> That's so cool. Kind of looks like an airbrush effect. I kind of wish that I had the whole sheet. That's neat. I like it. Alright, let's see if I could peel this off. It's stuck. Like, stuck, stuck. I'm afraid to pull it off because it's going to snap. Well, it transferred. <laughs> Get it off. Maybe if I let it cool the rest of the way, it'll peel off a little easier. Sorry, guys. I know you're way up here. I'm way down there trying to peel this off. Okay, okay, okay. There we go. So it's peeling off. One, slowly too delicately. So keep in mind, very thin wood here, but as you can see, it did transfer. Looks kind of cool. 
paper is stuck to it, so I will have to take a wet towel. Um, side note, it is easier to peel off once it cools a little bit more. I think that that's because the polycrylic is acting like a glue. Um, and when it's hot, it's going to act even more like a glue, like an adhesive does, you know, like HTV and whatnot. Haven't broken it yet. Almost done. Oh, it turned out so pretty. That's odd. So super odd part here. You see here where I have this little flap because I ran out of paper. You can see here very, very, very clearly this part didn't stick at all. So I'm very curious as to why this part didn't like get stuck to the paper, but the rest of it did. It did transfer. It does look pretty cool. Um, I have water. I have water. Do I have a towel? I did. What did I do with it? This is how my ADHD brain works, guys. But this is why you follow me. Because <laughs> this is how my ADHD brain works. And you are probably just like me. Alright, so I can't find my towel. Oh, it's over here. It's on the floor behind me, guys. Open this up. Just a little damn water. A little damn water. A little damn water. You don't need very much. Just enough to lightly, very lightly wipe the paper off. It's probably easier on a hard surface, but I'm trying to show you guys that it did work. You can clearly see there that it did transfer. It did stick. Except for right here. For some reason, okay, so side note. Let me get some more of this off to show you. There are parts that did not transfer as well as other parts, which is weird, which makes me think that maybe the, I didn't get enough of the polycrylic in that little part or something happened. Definitely gonna have to do the rest of this on a hard surface. Don't worry, the finished product will be on the thumbnail like usual, guys. Ooh, maybe, if I don't break it before then. I love mermaids and peacocks. And this mermaid transfer with the peacock colors was like, it's so me. Thousand percent. I'm just trying to get off a little bit more so that you can see more of the final product on this. I'm so excited that this worked because next, guys, next, I'm doing a big sign. Big, big, thick piece of wood. Um, I got a little too excited about that, but a uh, big piece of wood to put a fall decoration on. And I'm so excited that this worked because I kind of used the same process on the thicker wood. My concern with the thicker wood is, I'll show you because it's sitting right here, is it is much, much thicker. So getting it on my press, it's also a lot longer than my press plate is. So I'm gonna have to press it in two separate sections, which is okay. But at the same time, it's scary because it's something new and I haven't done it yet. But if I don't do it, then you're gonna have to do it. And then I can't teach you how to do it. And that's kind of what I'm here for. Alrighty, so enough rambling. I got off what I could without breaking it. Um, I will definitely be spraying it and doing a little bit more later. But for now, you can see here, Something just fell and scared the living Jesus out of me. <laughs> you can see here, taking a damp towel and just lightly going over it will get all of this extra white stuff. That's just the transfer off. That's not the, the wood behind it. Now, this piece right here is the painted wood behind it. And I don't necessarily know why that little bubble, maybe it was a bubble from the paintbrush. Maybe that's why they say to use a foam brush. Lesson learned. Now you know. Maybe the process should be paint 
polycrylic, sand, more polycrylic. Don't sand again because you're going to sand off the polycrylic and then press. But I am pleased with how this turned out. Very pleased. I love it. I will definitely be um, <laughs> getting the rest of this off. It's just the paper and I can tell because I could scrape it off if I wanted. But I don't want to. So that, my friends, is how you, yes, it does work, use polycrylic on wood, even thin wood, very, very thin basswood to, oh, I broke it. See, I made it through the whole damn video. <laughs> I broke it. So, in a new spot of all places. Um, anyways, I'll glue it back together. But that's how you use polycrylic and paint to sublimate on thin wood. Until next time, make sure you visit Craftily, guys. Peace out.